Well, I don't care if it is broken, lady. Our policy says no refunds. And that includes defective merchandise, capiche? But it's a birthday present for my mom. She's 83, and she needs a phone for emergencies. Well, boo sticking who, toots? Now vamoose before I call a cop. Scam artist. Mister. What do you want? I was wondering if you'd make a donation to my orphanage. The money will send poor kids to summer camp for a week. Hey, who do I look like? Mother Teresa? I'm running a business here, kid. Now scram! Uh, Mr. Pataki, I alphabetized all the customer files just like you asked. Alphabetized? I said to put them in order of how much money everybody spent. Now get back to your desk and do it right! Yes, sir. Oh, that's it, you big screw-up. You're fired! But, Mr. Pataki, I have a wife and eight kids to feed. Yeah, tell it to the judge, Pally. <laughs> Dang files. Excuse me, sir? Oh, criminy, what now? I'm Earth Flower, a member of the Happy Sunshine family. I'm a positive life forcer, here to offer you a new beginning, as well as a sense of inner peace. Yeah, well, I ain't got any time, buddy. Now, shove up! <laughs> Then he knocks over an entire water cooler. Floods the joint. Pass the ketchup. So, I did what I had to do. I fired his sorry rump. It's called looking out for number one. Man, Bob, you're ruthless. And that's exactly how I became the Beeper King. By not taking anybody's lip or putting up with so-called honest mistakes. you rack of lamb for two, sir. Sure took you long enough. Anyway, more about me being a head honcho and kicking butt over at the Beeper Emporium and... Oh, huh. Ooh, what's happening? Huh? Oh, my chest, girl. I think your old man's having a coronary, Olga. It's Helga, Dad. Oh, crud, I'm gonna miss the wheel. Ah. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, criminy, there's, there's no back to this thing. Well, boo stinking who, toots. Now vamoose before I call a cop. Don't fall and break your hip again. <laughs> I'm running a business here, kid. Now scram! How did it go, Shani? The mean man wouldn't help, and he was our last hope. Now me and the rest of the orphans will have to stay in the abandoned warehouse next to the toxic waste dump. That's it, you big scrap! Yeah, oh well, I guess I'll just have to put the kids to work again in one of those garment district sweatshops till I get another job. Criminy, I'm a monster. I can help you, brother. I can give you a brand new start. Inner ease. Yes. Show me the way, Earthflower. Daddy? Huh? What? Where am I? You're in a hospital, Papa. Hospital? Oh, that's right. Oh, I had a heart attack. Actually, it was gas. Doc said you'll be fine as long as you lay off the double racks of lamb. Well, near death or no near death, Big Bob Pataki's had an epiphany. A what? A life-changing experience, Miriam. A total stinking wake-up call. Come first thing tomorrow, Big Bob Pataki's gonna make some changes. Come on. Daddy, you forgot your fans, silly. Hey! Hey, you! No, don't hurt me, please. I beg you. Oh, calm down, you lovable little hippie freak. I just got a couple of questions. New beginnings. The happy sunshine way. What the? Dad, it's 7 a.m. What in the heck are you doing? It looks to me like he's making eclectic sounds with a new deli loot. It's part of my welcome the sun ceremony. From now on, instead of being my former butt-kicking self, Big Bob Pataki's gonna be all about inner peace and leading a simple life. Man, Bob must have hit his head really hard on that restaurant floor. I heard that, little lady. Now park your carcass and join me and the rest of the Patakis in purifying our bodies and cleansing our souls. 
Is it me, or has Bob gone completely nuts? Just because Daddy made a tofu scramble doesn't mean he's nuts, baby sister. Ah, uh, he's just rattled from his gas attack, honey. He'll get over it soon enough. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. It's a yurt. A what? A yurt. A simple hut where we'll all meditate together. It's part of the Happy Sunshine family's spiritual stripping down process. See? Criminy, Dad, you have really snapped your cap. Oh, great, they're here. Who's here? These are the volunteers from the orphanage. They're here to rid us of all our material possessions. Excuse me? The Happy Sunshine philosophy says we'll all be a lot happier if we give everything we own away, including the house and the cars. You're giving everything away? Everything except the yurt. We don't need a bunch of junk weighing us down when we walk barefoot to Oregon. Walk barefoot to Oregon? Yeah, to live in a commune. Daddy's gone completely crazy. Well, we've got to do something fast, Miriam. Why don't you go talk to him? What for? I mean, you are the guy's wife, aren't you? Well, technically. Great, now get to it. So how'd it go? Did you fix Daddy, Mommy? Uh-huh. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I'm gonna go find some burlap bags and make everyone untainted, happy sunshine clothing. Well, that went well. Don't worry, Helga. Whatever's bothering Daddy, I can get to the bottom of it. Well, let's hope so. So we not deprogramming him? I'll tell you all about it in a little bit, Helga. But first, I've got to go cancel all the utilities. Excuse me? You wouldn't believe how much evil electricity is just pulsing and pulsing through our walls. Well, it looks like it's up to me to unbrainwash Bob. Helga G. Pataki's gonna take action. Mmm, good bark. How's yours? Okay. All of Bob's favorite greasy foods. This fan will smell towards him. He won't be able to resist. He'll quit with the heavy sunshine junk and return to the old Bob. hoof The smell of that garbage makes me want to rededicate myself to cleansing my soul and not letting any food like that into my newly purified body. Thanks, Miss Martinez. There's one thing I know Bob can't resist. The power of TV. Big money, big money, big money, big money! The wheel. How stupid. Technology rots the mind and stains the soul. Amen, Daddy. So true, B. I'll collapse their stupid meditation yurt, and that'll be the end of that. They'll take it as a sign to return to being normal human beings. <laughs> yes. Oh, Daddy. Why did our beloved yurt have to collapse? Look on the bright side, positive life forcers. It's a sign. Now we can spend more constructive time together, rebuilding the yurt from scratch. Oh, Daddy, you're so positive. From scratch. Oh. Well, Arnold, I tried. But I guess the mind-altering powers of the happy Sunshine family were too strong. Despite my efforts, I'm afraid I'm forced to move away and leave you and my life here in the real world forever. I'm good. What in the heck do you think you're doing sneaking up on me? You're creeping me out, you creep! Are you okay? Oh, I'm just peachy. My dad's joined some wacky spiritual group, brainwashed Miriam and Olga, and he plans on taking us all to Oregon to live in a hut out in nature to sing songs and eat bark. That's kind of extreme. Gee, you think? Have you tried talking to him? He'd never listen to me, football head. Or worse, he'd try to convert me. It's like Bob can't even think for himself anymore. He can only spout nonsense from the Happy Sunshine book. He's an entirely different person. If you can't talk to your dad, then you'll have to get through to him some other way. So, they're really giving out free sage? Right on the street? Yep, right up here. Trust me. Ah, this was your plan, huh? You tricked me. Come on in, I want to show you something. Well, listen, I really don't want to be here. Uh, this is the evil past that I'm running away from. It's great, isn't it? poster of me with the funny hat on? Don't you see? You were the king, Dad. I was a horrible, uptight money monger. No, you were more than that. The old Bob pushed himself too hard, little lady. He never stopped to smell the roses, to enjoy life's rich pageant, or to really explore his spiritual core. Plus, he was a big, fat jerk. But, Bob, you have done so much. I mean, look, you built this place from the ground up and you did it your way. You never let anybody tell you what to do. And now look at you with all this happy sunshine junk. You're just a sheep, a follower. And the truth is, I don't like the new you. I miss my old dad. Hmm. You're making me think. I don't like it. You say that you act like a jerk and a big blowhard and all, but I still love you for that. That's who you are. And I depend on you to be my dad. 
Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Where could Daddy be? We have to start the walk to Oregon in our new life. Unload all the furniture and put it exactly where it was before. I had to write a big check to the orphanage to get this stuff back. What's going on, Dad? Well, the truth is... Uh, Helga, I thought about what you said back at the Beeper Emporium and spent the rest of the night doing a lot of soul searching. Daddy, are you okay? Do you need to shunt? Ah, I'm fine. I decided that moving away was much too drastic. We're staying right here, and we're having our own sunshine family. What? What? <laughs> That's sunny. And from now on, I'm gonna work just six days a week. And I'm gonna have a little veggie garden out back and, doggone it, I'm keeping the yurt. I need some good news. Come on, let's go inside and sit on some furniture. Hey, let's order some breakfast burritos, extra sausage. We can eat it in the yurt. Mm -hmm. 